kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go and we are underway from Pittsburgh on the return here's Dallas Flowers and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 so the Colts now coming out for their opening drive leaving them out still one of the most recognizable QBs in the game and one of the most fun QBs in his fifth season it's Gardner Minshew and how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie. Signature motor, mustache, and 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Chandon Sullivan, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Man, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? So the Steelers now in great shape to begin their initial possession. Leading them out a third round pick in 2018. He's made a handful of starts across his five previous seasons. Mason Rudolph. And when Mason Rudolph is on the field, sometimes the scouting reports have to be revised a little bit because often quarterbacks like to throw short to get a rhythm. For Mason Rudolph, he loves the deep fade and he loves the deep post pattern. Anything over the top. Those are his favorite shots downfield, and that's what gets him comfortable. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Again, it's Harris on second down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good, and the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. On the return, it's Flowers. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Minshew, first and 10. He'll drop this down to Taylor. They juked him, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 47. Now Minshew. Throw taken in by Taylor left side. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 34-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early. 
because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. That's going to be taken in by Downs. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Taylor will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, it looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. On the return from his end zone, Godwin Iguabuque. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Other than the extra point, that's it. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. After one, 7-3 the score. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Harris. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And look at this, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. But there are times to run that fake and there are times to not run it. And this, without question, would fall in the latter category. Well, I don't know about without question, partner. I think we should look at the analytics on this one because, oh, yeah, the analytics say, yeah, without question. You should have gone ahead and punted the football because now not only did you not get it and you really had no chance to, what a short field that you turned the ball over to the other offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Minshew. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that. Touchdown, Colts! Jadon Mickens, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. That one down the field for Fryermuth. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball. But oftentimes, it attracts a little bit of extra attention. And it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. He's going to go up top again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. 
Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Now Minshew on first and ten. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley-Cox. Touchdown! Mo Alley-Cox from 21 yards away. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Gay is on for the point after. And oh, it's blocked. The Colts have it. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. I remember when they changed the rule, and there's a lot of consternation, especially coming from the kickers. Okay, how is this going to affect things, having to kick a longer one now, much more of a field goal attempt, and the defensive guys saw it as an opportunity to get more blocked. That's exactly right. There's more effort now. Before, when it was stepped down near the goal line, you would basically see guys just stand there. Yeah, not anymore. Now, those guys are going after it because not only can they knock it away and change a little bit of momentum, and get two points. they can pick it up and take it back for two points. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Presley Harvin now. And oh, we've seen it all now. It's a fake. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck? Let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. I know that from down to down, you'll hop into different offensive formations and try and fool the defense and pick up some yardage. And what in the world? Now they're going to fake it. And incomplete. So the fake, a third down fake that is, doesn't work. But now it's fourth down. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, it looked like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toe. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. And here's where I'm perfectly happy to defer to my analyst and let him analyze this one. I don't get it. That's the analysis? That's the analysis. I don't get it. I mean, you're on the other side of midfield, maybe. But a fake punt way down here? You want analysis? Ridiculous. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. A penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. On second down, it's Taylor. There he goes, right side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 52 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Whether it's the toss or the pitch, you get him the ball outside the tackles on the edge. He's a tough man to bring down. He certainly is, and it makes people wonder on the other side of the ball. Do I really want to deal with him when he gets a full head of steam? At the same time, he's also congratulating his tackle. Tight end, wide receiver on that side. They gave him access to the corner and allowed him to build up that head of steam. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They'll try the left side with Taylor. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Alex Highsmith simply would not be stopped on that play. Second down and eight. Minshew sets to throw. And that's caught left side by Mo Alley Cox. Touchdown, Colts! Mo Alley Cox with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Colts are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and ten. Mr. Davis, you're a football lifer, my friend. You've called games at the highest level. You know head coaches inside and out. Please explain that one to me. Uh, <laughs> Speechless. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Second and 10. Off play action, it's Minshew. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Out of the gun is Minshew. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Gay's kick is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. And they take a knee. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And they will take a knee here. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And from their own end zone, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. 
They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Touchdown! Mo Alley Cox on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Colts will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. Things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big time factor in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. They'll fake the handoff. Now Rudolph forced out to his left. And he's upended after a gain of two after the 27. The plan was clearly to challenge that by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap. But and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quinny Pay in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here we go on fourth, Rudolph. And for the third time now, this is going to wind up a safety. Unbelievable. Well, Charles, I've heard of backing up to avoid the rush. I think this takes that to a whole new level. And not upper level either. <laughs> So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it.
They give to Taylor out of the gun. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. A tough spot here, third and 15. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Throwing on third down, here's Rudolph. That is caught, and he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far. Right on the last play. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Finding his way home for the sack that time, Taven Bryan. It's now second and 19 at the 32-yard line. Throwing on second and long. Rudolph, pass complete, George Pickens with it. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Third down and six. Here's Rudolph off play action. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick, could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. And you can tell just by looking at them that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Uh, I guess I got to hand it to him. That was, uh, that was ambitious. Well, that's one way to put it. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Uh, Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again, right? Touchdown, Indianapolis! Alec Pierce, 38 yards, and the Colts extend their lead yet again. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal always hurts a team because you know you've put something out there you've given yourself a chance you're in range and the ball doesn't go through the post but it's not something to panic about i don't believe just keep playing and keep going a second and ten forthcoming here third quarter action in the steel city of pittsburgh pa rudolph throw into the hands of pickens and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now it's Rudolph. And he whips that one incomplete there. 
All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. And they will remain well, well behind. I, uh, I, I got nothing after that try. Yeah, don't even. Don't even try. I mean, he tried it for the parking lot. <laughs> for the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time time because let's face it the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls they want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football but now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete speed is the name of the game when it comes to rpos and sometimes you can be a little too quick thus inaccurate incomplete On second and ten, it's Minshew. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Minshew throwing on third down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. Thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Back now in Pittsburgh. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense. And frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Rudolph looking to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Again, it's Rudolph. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Rudolph. Throw left side, complete. That's Harris. 
That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he goes out right around the 39. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that's going to make it fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They run for it with Harris. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Colts are going to get the... He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think they're... And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Offside, defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Now Minshew. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Back to throw here. That's going to be taken in by Downs. Touchdown, Colts. Josh Downs, 27 yards. And the Colts add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. So now on comes the field goal unit. And this will be a... And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now third down and very long. And they'll send Pickens in motion right here. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just... Tomlin has reached for that red challenge flag, and he'll throw it out there. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, ruling on the field stands. So that challenge, not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. And now on is the field goal unit. And boy, this is speculative at best, crazy at worst. And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme failure, as that is obviously no good. And they will remain well, well behind. Well, he does have a good leg, I'll give him that, but not that good. Not by a long shot. Indy set to go on offense once more. 
CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory. Perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. So jumping from his free safety spot. That tells you how aggressive they are on defense, doesn't it? They get everyone involved. He was a little too fast on that play. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. What's up, man? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So that's going to move them half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation, but think about your play calling now could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, Offside. partner. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Now contact up front is penalty. What happened? But now if they wanted to, they could move the ball up to the one and go for two. Yeah, that's exactly right, because normally the ball's at the two when you go for two. But if they wanted now, enforce the penalty to the one. But if they wanted to kick it, right, don't they just move it up? Yeah, just move it up to the 10. Right, move it up to the 10 if they still wanted to kick it. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. And they will remain well, well behind. Five missed field goals, just a disastrous performance. And he won't get another chance, I can't imagine. Partner, he may want to get the resume ready, too. Yeah, maybe time to dust it off. Flag comes in, this might be a free play. Now Benchu has it knocked out. Fumble. Offside. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. On second down, here's Rudolph. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Rudolph. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. 
but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get throw left side is complete on the diving effort he's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays this time 18 more and a first down Rudolph gonna throw again and his throw is gonna be incomplete he didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Here's Rudolph now on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Rudolph. Over the middle complete. That's Harris. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. A 42-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. In the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been out playing all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Oh, and I think they got it. Yes, the Steelers have it. Great job by the kick team there to get the football, but also don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Rudolph. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that will force a turnover on downs. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal, in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a